Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that it, if it were a bear <laughs> that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. Fair enough. Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. I will. Oh well, there we go. We're getting something free from the gunsmith. I've still not bonded with this horse. I should should be able to steal it. Oh, you little shit. Come on now, I've saved your life. And you're not even going to let me loot your saddlebags. Oh, look how close I came to die in there. Remedy, please. I'm going to have to go on the horse and cam it, I think. I don't really want to bond with it. I can't remember what horse I've got at camp. I don't think it's any of my Arabians, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, while I was eating my dinner and the stream ended, I went back up to... Willard's rest and got the legendary steelhead trout. I've just taken it in, I've just took it into the post office there and managed to get it posted away. So I know that's going to Jeremy Gill now. I'm trying to think what else I've done. On the way down. Oh yeah, I've still to take the legendary elk pelt to the trapper. So I'll probably do that now. Now that this horse is calm, I'm going to try and loot its saddlebags. Then I can abandon it here. Or I can take it to the stables um, down uh, Van Horn. Oh, a gold nugget. No wonder it kicked me on that side. Another gold nugget. Very nice. Excellent. I'm so glad I chose that horse to carry the the fish on. Right. No, I don't want to take you. I want to leave you here because we don't want to bond with you. Somebody will find you and look after you. I think I got another cougar pelt at the, before I came back on. Oh, that might have been at the end of the last one as well. I'm going along here to the beach to see if there's any more cougars. Well, the horse isn't fussing at the minute. Oh, I'm just seeing a deer over there. sight off just now. There's turkeys there. No, I don't don't think we'll see any cougars or bears here at the minute. Horses being too calm. Although we are getting ominous music. It's just coming down this way in case we had a cougar coming down to stalk that deer. But I'm not seeing anything. Arthur needs a good feed. I give the horse a good feed. Speaking of the horse, if you remember in episode 2 I got the White Arabian. Uh, that was towards the end of episode 2. In fact, it might actually have been the start of episode 3. But then about episode... 14 or 15 back there 
I accidentally got my Arabian killed. So, uh, last episode there, I've just went up to Lake Isabel again and the White Arabian had respawned, which was interesting. So, I now have a second White Arabian and I've named her Twix, just because she is the second one. So, now I'm heading down to Saint Denis to take this legendary elk pelt to the trapper. I also, bet between the episodes here, I also went back up and got the legendary steelhead trout. I've just posted that at the start of this episode. So, yeah, I was surprised. That must have been a glitch because I did have it on my horse. But then when I fast travelled back to Valentine, it had gone. And then it wasn't showing on Jeremy Gill's list. Right, let's... In fact, I'll wait and I'll see the fence at Saint Denis. Oh, sorry, horse. What I will do is nip in here. Sorry, mate, I want the citron post. Shit! You best watch yourself. You were hard, girl. Ah, that's her level two bonding now. I'm going to go in here and have something to eat. Uh, what is that I get in here? Is it lamb's heart they sell in here? Yeah, lamb's heart. I'll have that, please. Yeah, well, let's have a couple of quick hands of blackjack since we're here. Careful, big man. Let's go 30 cents. Mr. Vegas, right, no aka Arthur Morgan. Right, we've got 19, a jack and a nine. Okay. And we get beat because of that. Damn dealer. Sure he's a cheat. Put your beds down. We'll go 30 cents again. All we'll right, probably man. end up losing all the money, but it's only a couple of bucks. All right, let's start. Bets are closed. 16. No uh, 16. Oh, my rule is if it's less than 17, to double down and hope you get it. So let's double down. So we want a five or less. Hmm, I think double down. Bust oh. Never mind, it was worth a try. A fifteen. Bust. Yeah. Good for you, I guess. Come to Papa. Place your bets. <laughs> uh let's go thirty again. I'm done taking bets. Let's start the round. He's going to get blackjack. blackjack. Yes, he did. Thought oh, that. Okay. And I've got 14, so I'm going to double down and hope for a 7 or less. A 14. Double down. <sighs> Dagnamit. Give me your bets. Let's be brave and go. Like what have I got? A dollar fifty nothing. left. I'll go 70 cents. And that gives me enough to double down on another one if okay, I want to. No more bets. Let's get started. Well, it's given me 18. I might actually stand on this. That's a 13. Give me another. Got too uh, many. All right, I'm going to stand and hope that the dealer doesn't get an 18 or more. An 18. There's an 11. Double. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Oh. Dagnam it. Shit. It's determined that I just have to make a small bet to win, doesn't it? Place your bets. 
But I'm not going to. I'm going to go 40 cents. That gives me enough to double down. Okay. Or to split if I get a pair. Alright, no more bets. We're about to start. Mm -hmm. 18. 14. I'm going to stand on that. 18. 13. 7. That's a 13. Busted. Yes, we'll take that one. Thank you. Yes. Got some of my money it's back something. anyway. Give me your bet. All right, I'm going to go 60 cents this time since I've got 120. That's enough again for the double down or All the right, split. Let's start. Bets are closed. Shit, 16. Insurance bets? Oh god, no, I'm not. I'm going to decline and hope he's not got a blackjack. Well, he's not got a blackjack, that's good. Alright, so come on. An 18. Stand. 16. What to do? Will I double down and. Ah, I'm going to double oh, down. No. Risk it for a biscuit. Sorry, you went over. No, oh, no, over by no, one. No, oh, well, I'll leave it at that. I've lost enough money here. It was three dollars. Right, we've had a good feed. We've had a quick game. Right, we need to get to San Denis now with this legendary pelt. I think I'll take the stage. If the stage coach is running. Are you lost, mister? Come here, I'll come and see you. Sense of direction. Uh, it ain't good. Uh. Hey, where's the train station? It's right Over behind me, dude. Behind. Head on that way. There You'll you go. It. You are a gentleman, sir. You're welcome. <sighs> Probably end up taking the same stagecoach as him since the station doesn't run anymore. Right, going to San Denis. We've still got a while oh, a horse just ran over a poor dog. Oh, it's okay. The dog's alive. Sandini. Oh, how did my spare horse get here? That doesn't make sense. What do you want? Nothing. Right, why is my spare horse here? Alright, oh, that was the one that I took. The guy that you find in the swamps, he falls off his horse with an arm a uh, sore arm, you have to take him to the doctors. That's his horse quite happy just to leave it there. My good horses are in the stable out of harm's way. So I'm going to go to the market, see the trapper with this pelt and go to the fence to get the trinket. Hey, why is this happening? I'll probably have to wait till morning as well but that's fine. Yeah, wait till morning, okay. okay. We'll just have a little nap in the marketplace. <laughs> you too. Right, I'm going to give you legendary elk, a perfect ram. I'm going to keep the perfect cougar for Arthur's tent at camp. 
You can have some grizzly mutton. Yep. You can have some cooker fangs. Some wolf hearts. Alligator teeth. I'll keep the perfect muskrat. The perfect chipmunk. Right, that'll do for now. Okay, let me quickly nip to the fence and I'll get the trinket. It's okay, I'm going to get you to craft a token for me, then I'm going to check what time of the day it is and possibly Robbie's shop. Let me see if there's anything else. No, not yet. Okay. Right, what time of the day is it? 8.33am and I have to rob four shops in a single day, so... Give me all your money. Open that thing. You want something? Uh, just take it. I am not worth killing. Voilà. Voleur pathétique. Right, and just in case I have to run out of town, we'll do that quickly. And then I'll go to the general store in Saint Denis and rob that. Put my gun away as well so that nobody sees me with it out. Too late. <laughs> Push him over and give him something to moan about. Right, let's go. Yes, sir. Right, we're going to get reported any second, so... I'm going to have to scoot out to the edge of town just to avoid the, the law. Actually, I might get away with just being here. If I stay behind the wall, I might be okay. And once this wanted levels away, I'll go back and rob the general store. If I get away with that, I'll go to the gunsmith next. He might actually shoot back, you see. Oh, I could go to the tailor and then the gunsmith. I want to get the softer ones first, in case I have to do a quick getaway like this. Right, okay, so there might still be cops loitering, so I'll stick to the railway until I get to the... Right, here we go. We'll go to the back door of the, the general store since there's cops on the corner there and one at the docks. So we don't want the horse wandering away while we do this. Job, in case we need a quick getaway. Got my eye on you, thief. Yeah, I know. I've Let robbed you already. Open that thing. Now, I've got money, goods. Just don't kill me, all right. Just don't mop the till. Okay, you got it. It's all yours. You have my money. Happy? Now the Italians will kill us both. Rob the cash register, Arthur. We've got to get out of here in case the cops are just outside. That's real Twenty-one ninety-two. Not bad. Right. If he doesn't report me, oh, I did. Hey, Shit. Move. Right, okay. Yep. We'll do the same again, just hang out by this wall. And then we'll go and rob the tailor after that. The tailor's on this side of town, so... So we might have to go via the post office to pay the fine of already accrued, which is fifteen dollars. Then whatever I get for this. Just keep an eye on the map to make sure none of the cops are coming too close.
There we go, that's the wanted level gone again. Um, I'm wondering if I should just go to the train station and pay the fine first. I was saying I've not got a fine now. What's the score? I have got a bounty. Right, okay. So that's the... The trapper and the general store being robbed. So we'll go and pay the bounty. Then we'll go and rob the... Oh, what's he called? The tailor. And then the gunsmith. Let's see how our time are doing. It's still morning Welcome. anyway, I think. How do you do? Liberty is worth every yeah, it's only been two hours. So let's go and get the trapper next. Yep. Not the trapper, the tailor. I'll get to use shortly pam pamphlet man. my horse to this pole. I don't know if I can. No. Right, I'll just keep her here then. Now you stay there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we're going to rob the tailor. Then if we can get uh, an escape on and get away with that, we'll go and rob the gunsmith. Hello. Oh shit, I'm getting robbed. Okay. Oh, Arthur, you don't want to put your mask on, you want your... Oh, you did. I'll show you crazy, mate. <coughs> Excuse me. Take my money back, thank you very much. I'll take my mask back off as well before I get into trouble for that. And then I'm going back to the tailor to rob him. He just warned me about being robbed myself, so it's the least I can do is rob him back. my horse yet. Yeah, horse is still down the end. Okay there. Open the register right now. Now no one needs to die over this. Get it open. One. This door's open. I hope I don't get seen. Look where you're going. $21.17, I'll take that. Right, come on Arthur, because he's going to report you straight away. One. Before he alerts the cops, I want to get hidden in here. Put my gun away. Oh, I'm still right in the middle of the big red circle. Okay, I better not hide in here. I see they're coming through that tunnel at the back. Sorry, dude, I'm going to knock you out of the way. Oh, 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 easy. Come on, round the corner before they see us. Stay still. Oh, 
Hopefully they don't think to look in here. Well, they do search. I'll get my horse fed and watered and brushed. Give her a stamina tonic just in case I have to make a big getaway. Right, now uh, I'm good to go just in case the cops do find me in here. I'm hiding behind the gallows in San Denis from the cops. I've been mugging the stores. I have to rob four stores in one day. I've robbed three. I've still got either the gunsmith to do here or go to Rhodes and rob the general store there. It's almost noon, so I've still got 12 hours to do that. And See, they're still investigating and they know it's me. Shit. Okay, let's... Cops just on the other side of the fence. This witness is going to recognise me now as well. Right, do you know what? I'm going to head to Rhodes and just rob the the last store there. I think. Still got plenty of time to get to roads. I'll mark the map actually, just to keep me right, so I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh, it'll be the general store I'm going to, which is stair. Okay. can hear banging in the background. It's quite windy out and I've got my bedroom window wide open so I think I could hear a door rattling through the headset. I could have fast travelled but it's more exciting doing it this way. Let's say we're now at and what's the time, Arthur? It's now 12.49, so I should get to Rhodes and game time for about half past one. I'm going to go cross-country, actually. I might make it a little bit quicker. Oh, just took out a turkey. Does that not count? Or did I trample all the animals? I'll have to check that as well once I've done this one. So let's see where you're going here. Oh, there's that old man again. Yeah. Yep. Hey, mister. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. You too, sir. But, uh, what you doing here? Robbing the store behind old you. Friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters too, I think. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem too scared. Yes, huh? not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. 
<laughs> well, you better get out of here. <laughs> okay, we're just going to rob that store behind you. Can you keep an eye on my horse, please? Stay, Thank you. Hey, mister. Hello. Nice people around here. All right. Yeah, sorry to do this to you, bud. Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the ship. Oh shit, I can't cause trouble here. Dag nam it. There was me hoping to rob him. Oh shit, kicker. Right, I'm gonna have to go to We'll jump a train to Valentine and rob the store there then. Ah, oh, dag nam it. I should have left this challenge until the next episode. Hello again. Hello. I'd like a train ticket to Valentine, please. Okay, safe travels. Thank you. Yeah, we'll rob the store here. That'll be the four in one day, I think. I'll check the time again when I got off the train. Come on, Arthur. How long does it take for them to stop a train? Unless it knows I'm going to be up to no good. Here we go. My horse is waiting down by the water tower. Let's hope it stays there. Oh no, it's going to come round the train. Come on Arthur, let's go. Time is now 2.12 p.m. Yeah, we're still going to do this. So I've got a couple of choices to rob here. I think the safest one to rob will be the general store. It'll be the easiest one to make a quick getaway from. the hey, register do don't make me shoot you dime. this is the way you make your money sometimes as Arthur would say Thank you. I'm gonna there you go four or four stores robbed enough. in one day so what's the bandit four challenge Rob any three coaches or return any three stolen coaches to the fence in a day. Okay, so to do that, we want to head to Emerald Ranch. And we'll just hopefully find some coaches or wagons around there. They're all good. We'll get out of here, we'll camp for the night, and then we'll start the coaches in the morning. Uh oh. Are they on the bridge in front of me, or are they. Oh, is that one on the hill there? Hopefully, you won't see me running past. Oh, he did. Never mind. Horses running up a steam as well. Hopefully, lose the lawman by making them chase one of them.
There, we're losing them there, we've lost them. Good, good. I just want to quickly check if the ox in this ranch has went to a three star yet. Or if it's still a two. Now we'll carry on down Emerald Ranch from here. Oh, what are you? A one star buck. It's over. There's a couple of horses in the stable. Only there's the ranchers over there. I'm just going to check the stable first to see if the the guy that married the sheep is still sleeping in here. Ah, he is. Look. <laughs> right. I'll just steal the wedding ring off it while he's sleeping there. Got what we came for, let's go. Oh, wrong one. That one. Why can't. Oh, because I'm getting shot at. I can't study it. Alright, I'll do it on the way back from Emerald Ranch. Right, so I'm looking for wagons to fence. So what I'm going to do, because the fence is just round the corner here, I'll head up to the high ground up here, yep. and that way I'll be able to see all the roads in and out of Emerald Ranch. That's the shepherds, nothing on the back roads, no. Yeah, okay. Hey, I'll just keep a watch for them coming down the roads. What time of the day are we at? 4.43. Okay, what I'll do is I'll set up camp here, get Arthur something to eat, and then I'll sleep till morning, and then that way we can get all the wagons done in one day without having to worry about the time. Right, sleep, Arthur. 14 hours. Good kip. We'll get something to eat when you wake up. There's a wagon on the road behind me now. Tag nam it. But again, I wasn't going to trust the time because sometimes they can be few and far between. But you're better to be here to get them. There's one there. Right, on Arthur. Try and get it before it reaches the... It's only a little one, but it still counts. <laughs> Sorry, mister.
we might not get it opened because the guy's shooting at us, so we will. As long as we get it in before he reaches us, we'll be fine. We don't want him reporting us either before we get to it. And there's another wagon going through, so we'll be able to grab that one next. This might be of to you. Probably only worth about ten dollars, or five even, but I'll take it. I can hear the guy shouting, Spend running down fast. towards the stables. How much did we get for that, Arthur? Look at him, he's standing there with his gun pointed at me. Right, where did that wagon go? Is it heading out of town? Yeah, it's right, okay. Seamus, where are you? I see the fence bit's closed and I'm not getting in this time. I'm going to have to drive about until the, the wanted's done. Yeah, because the guy's just to the right there, okay. should be able to get into the fence now. Just had to get him away from the stables. Don't run over the sheep, Arthur. Come on, Seamus, where are you? Right, why am I not getting into the wagons now? I'll leave that one there for now and I'll go and see if I can find another one. I don't think there's a cooldown because I've done it this way yeah. before. They're gonna be. That's because I've got a bounty. Hopefully that coach won't go away but it might. Oh, don't go that way. I'll fall. I'll go and pay my bounty and then I'll go back. If that wagon's away, there should be a stagecoach over by the station here I can steal. Yeah. Ah, you're back. What can I do? Sure am. Glad to see you on the up and up. Thanks. Let's go, girl. Well, let's see if this wagon's still here or if it disappeared on me. Yep. That's gone, hasn't it? Oh no, it's still there. Right, let's see if we can get into the... What time of the day are we at now? It's still only 8am, so I've got plenty of time. Right, come on, Seamus. Knock, knock. Yep. It's not going to work, is it? No, okay, I'll take the wagon for a... Just to get out of the way of the stables for two minutes. Oh, there's a chest in here I can rob. I can see a chest in the back of the wagon. I'm just going to go to the other side of the hill. I'll loot the wagon and then I'll take it back and see if the, the fence is opened up again. Oh, 
Right, what have we got in here? Canned veggies, opened fine brandy, miracle tonic. Perfect. Yeah, I think we were far enough away. I'm not sure though. Eight forty-one a.m. Was it three wagons I was to get? Yeah, three. Okay. Come on, Seamus, open the doors. so beat up. Here. Pleasure. I think that's a wagon. I'm here in leaving town. Nice. We'll take that one. Come on, girl. We'll just follow it out of town a little bit of a distance before we take it. The fence is opened back up again. I see that on the map. Get past the sky on the horse as well. Hey there, mister. Hello. Oh. Nobody in the no, it's nobody in the stagecoach, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, Arthur, you're a nugget. Come on. I'll take them round the other side. Three wagons fenced, and it only took three hours thirty nine minutes in game time. Oh, you might be interested in this. I should get about forty bucks for this. That's a nice stagecoach. I'll maybe not if we've shot up a bit. And this is for you. How much did we get for that one? Yeah, 40 bucks. Nice. So what's banned at 5? Okay, girl. Come on, what's the next challenge? Amass $250 bounty in one state. Okay. We'll just do that while we're here. It'll be you that starts it all, hey, mister. Shoot some horses. We need to get a big bounty going, so we can't afford to spare the peasants or the animals. We need to give the law a good reason to come flocking in droves for this one. Should take out this witness. Got to let some of the witnesses get away to report things. Alright, come on. One of you's report me. Hurry up. Go and run away. 
There's the wanted, so cops will be here in a minute. I need to give them something to moan about. Have I ran out of bullets? Express. High velocity. Oh, we're all good. It's just a reload. Right. Come on, where's the law? I have to shoot the law to get a bounty started. Might as well do it in style. Come on, where's the law? They're supposed to be here. Oh, they're coming this way, okay. Nice shot. Using explosive rounds, I'm hoping that gets the the bounty up a bit quicker. Right, so that's the first lot of law dead. That should be what, $125, okay. So it was $250 of Tamas, isn't it? So I'll just wait on more law coming. Calm yourself, horse. There's the law. Oh, they are going to come behind me. Okay. How many of these bullets have you got left, Arthur? Two. Okay. Uh, we'll go to Lancaster. High velocity. Alright, so I've managed to amass 125. I need to kill all these lawmen and... Two hundred and fifty dollars to have after a mass. Come on, guys, let's go. $200, so another $50 of to go. Calm the horse back down. I'll witness over that way. I'm going to shoot his horse just to annoy him. Give him a reason to phone the cops. Here they come. $235. There we go. $260. So I can run away now. I've amassed 250 That's Bandit 5. Right, next one is steal five horses and sell them to the horse fence at Clemens Cove. Now, I think I've done that mission with John. It wasn't the last episode. I think it was the one before that. So let me just check the horse fences on the map. Yeah, he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head round about. I'll go to camp first, drop off some stuff, then I'm going to go and hover about there and wait and people go and pass and steal the horses. So we'll get rid of this wanted level and then we'll fast travel back to camp. In fact, I think there's a, there's a Trelawney mission on the board. Is that in camp? It is, so we might actually do that mission before we do the the next challenge. 
Okay, so let's head back to camp first of all. Now the wanted levels the way we can fast travel, save a bit of time. Fast travel to Clemens Point. Back at camp. Seems so long. I don't. I think I was only in camp once in the last episode this afternoon, and this is my first time back at camp. This one, and I'm an hour in. So let's go to Pearson first. Leave our horse beside Trelawney since we'll probably be needing them. Hurry up, Pearson. I'm starving. Oh, shut it, Micah. Let's see if we can antagonize Micah, see if he gets up and pushes us about. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> he antagonized me first that time by pointing his gun at me. You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know you're tough. Is he going to push me? Uh, 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 no, he didn't push me, and I'm not allowed to say anything else to him. What? There's enough fools out there deserve shooting, you know. What do you mean? I know it's you who keeps killing innocent people. Me? Nobody innocent in this world, Miss Grimshaw. You know that. My oh, honor level's good. I'm still on the right you side of good. For you to keep acting crazy. <laughs> okay, that's us being told, Miss Arthur. Grimshaw, I apologize. <laughs> Okay, we just got a row from mommy. Alright, let's see what we can give. What do you want? Oh, can't talk to him from there. Alright. Is that it? Okay. Haven't right, Pearson. While, well, I'm not All giving right. you the blue jay or the chipmunk. Or the muskrat. You can have a good bat and a poor bat. Um, you can have eight venison. You can have a duck feather and a couple of whooping crane feathers. Some gamey bird meat. Perfect cooker pelt, because I need that for something in Arthur's tent. And I'm going to give you 15 big game to make a good fat. You can have 20 big games so everybody in this camp can get a good shoot tonight. Right, let me just double check. Arthur's tent. Yeah, I st still need one perfect cougar pelt, two ox hides for Arthur's, and for the main campfire, I need moose antlers, a wolf carcass, and a muskrat pelt. Oh, I have got the muskrat. Did I say I had the muskrat? Yeah, muskrat. There yeah, we go. That's one done. You can turn that you know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tied on space. There we go. That's that one done. I think you're going to be popular after that. So, we need a whole three-star wolf and moose antlers. Okay. One cougar pelt and two ox hides, and that completes camp. Right, let's see what Trelawney wants. We'll have something to eat first, just in case it's a mission and a half. Arthur. Yes. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete. Oh, what? A man of words and not of action. 
hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. <laughs> because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. <laughs> the odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I okay. could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads, because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me, I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Uh -huh. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So... Where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make okay. the introductions, Arthur. I love Trelawney's horse. Beautiful Appaloosa. Or it might actually be an ab stripper. Hang back a bit and They've got spotted coats as well. We don't want to scare him off. <laughs> I like how Trelawney suddenly puts on a jaunty walk. <laughs> Right, we have to hang back, so we'll just kid on. We're looking at papers. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. <laughs> they often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Mm. Sorry, Josiah, I was getting a drink. Pay Alden, okay? Here. Ain't you kind, sir? You're welcome. Oh, Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. A real okay. big spender. Well, Good time. looking, I so like refined. This one, It'll be coming south down <laughs> the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. Well, He's do. also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, 
Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu? adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that panel. Coach coming south, down the river road through Saltwater Strand. Valuables and strong box. Passengers, the very wealthy Miss Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. Okay. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. So we're going to rob a stage with Trelawney. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. Probably not the much different from the train lunch. drivers so nowadays. Something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. That's the truth. Boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. Of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. Okay. How do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. <coughs> Excuse me. Samson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Okay. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Oh, I've got some there comedy music. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Not too fast, horse. Let Josiah get ahead. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. Okay. the horse there then. I'm 
Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Take that money pile, thank you very much. I thought he'd seen me there, but it's Trelawney saying something. from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Take care, Josiah. Total stake 768, gang share 375, our share 206. Nice. That should get us, yeah, back over 5,500 again. Yeah. Right, so what to do next? That's a gang mission done, as well as some side stuff, some hunting. Um, what else can we do? I suppose we'd go and see what Hosea is up to. Well, we just took down a turkey. It's still alive. Okay. Right, let me check these other challenges first. Right, we have to steal five horses. We're already at Explorer 8 on the treasure, so I don't want to do any more. Herbalist is low, so... Find another two berry species. Right, I think it was raspberry and the evergreen huckleberry. Is there any evergreens around here? Right, okay. Yeah. If we can get that one done, we'll just have a quick look for some fruit bushes. Oh, I should go up to Annisburg again. Is that patch up by Willer's Rest? I could find raspberries. I can find winter green berries. What else is up there? I can't remember what I've already taken, you see. bushes around here. There we go, there's raspberries. So we'll take one of them just to find out if we've already had one of these. Right, that's a raspberry. Right, so evergreen huckleberry will be next. So we'll head down to the woods at the bottom of Braithwaite Manor. Should be some down in the waterside. In fact, there might even be some around the wooded areas here. I don't know how marshy these are, though. No, nothing there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'm here. Oh, I wish they'd brought my extra horse with me now. I'm sure both of these oxen are perfect. Let me have a look. 
They're Braithwaite oxes. They've got to be perfect. And that one's only a, a two star. Both two star. Oh well, they can live. Oh, I was putting the binoculars away, not kicking somebody. Oh, jump. That's it. Thank you. I don't see any guards around, that's unusual. Right. Check around the outhouse, I'm sure there's a huckle, evergreen huckleberry around here. Maybe not. Oh, she's still in there, I can hear her. She's so creepy. Alright, we'll leave her to her counting. If the stream drops out for you guys, just refresh the page. It can be a bit of a pain. It's, it's not... I'm noticing that it's tripping out on my phone, but I've got my wireless on, so that might be the problem. Right. We're trying to find evergreen huckleberries, aren't we? I'm surprised we're getting to walk around here, actually. Maybe because Hosea's there. Well, if that's the case, have I been in here? Oh, no, it's not the right one. I'll take advantage of being able to ride around here just to collect a bit of bits and bobs. No, don't go on the roof. Arthur, Jesus. Yeah, we'll take that. I'll take the premium cigarettes. Well, that's right. I was going to spam, spam some premiums at the shop, wasn't I? Yeah, we've got nine in that set now, so that's a start. I'll take the gun oils. Another cigarette card. Nice, the US frigate. a look in Penelope's gazebo just in case there's any cigarette cards lying around in there. No? No. Okay. You're a horse going crazy as well. Let's clean the horse up and then we'll go and see what Hosea is after.
clean these guns that I'm taking with me. horse going crazy somewhere. I wonder if they've got any of their, their pretty horses in there. I'll put that gun away, Arthur. No, take the Lancaster with you, please. Alright, I'm going to take a, a big medicine before I start this. And I'll have that all ready on the chewing tobaccos for when the mission started. Good day, sir. Ah, please come in, sir. Well, thank you. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Arthur and Jose are quite so reasonably dressed, and, and then they're shown. Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> oh, got to love Hosea. Right, Shawnee boy, what are we up to? To be sure, Sean, what are we going to do? I'll fill you in on the way. Okay. No, I'm driving. Fine. <laughs> I've still got my gun, that's the main Ready? thing. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I'm pulling clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. <laughs> okay. So what's she got us doing at the Graves place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed yeah, the Don't speak weights. bad about Hosea. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you. Jesus. So, we're just gonna... Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, <coughs> I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. <laughs> yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Arthur's point of view. Okay. Alright, tap it, sorry. Right. I need to come out of it. There we go. It's Arthur's point of view. 
Sunsets and Sean's drive and I can just relax for a minute or two. Okay, Sean. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a ting, a, a ting, a ting, a ting at the what saloon. Are you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, of friend? Here, uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You know beautiful, say? beautiful uh, place. <laughs> Spent a year over in Ireland, the way back in 1987. Oh, must be a good drink. Hamish. Meet you, Hamish. <laughs> That's what you call a Scotsman standing at the end of his street. Hamish. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I can just see Arthur in the background there. there can see his shirt arm, shirt sleeve. <laughs> see it? So, you and behind the boxes. Have a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, yeah. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Right, come on, Arthur. Got to get out of this coach and exit the wagon. Quite a place you boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, out in Donegal. I love Donegal. Donegal Town's a beautiful little place. Fancy, because of some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. Eh? Sorry, Hamish. Scott's way here. How are you getting on? Good. We already got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. God, I hate this bit. Everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rain, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back. So move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock boy. I was barb one of down manor houses. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at things like that, but because I mean, the history in Ireland's getting worse instead of better again. Money, money, money. 
Sure. See you later. You hear that? <coughs> Excuse get me. Get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Right. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. What's the best way to do these? The quickest and most efficient way. Alright, so I'm assuming the barn is one of the buildings on the left, so if I go straight ahead. Right, okay. So we want to go this way first. Without this guy seeing us. him to move away from his crouch down a bit Arthur. One mister, move. I've still got a field to go yet. That's good for you. Right, come on, straight across, straight across before that guy sees us. Go, 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 go. There's Sean over there. Excellent, I came the right way. Arthur. Come on, Sean, let's go. It's gonna be a long night. I say that every time I'm on a night shift. We'll take a cigarette card from here. Where's Sean? Where? Alright, I see them, I see them. Oh, come on, why can't I get him? Right, Sean, what this way now? Well. This is a goddamn mess. Oh, I've run out of meat, but I can take that just now. Come on. The wagon we saw come in earlier. We can nick the horses from that. Come on, Arthur, shoot him. Dagnammit, what is going on with this? Oh, Sean had got him. Right, okay. 
Jesus! There's more of them! You want to help? Well, give me some That. Oh, there he is. They didn't tell me nothing. I'm ending you. Hey, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded our cash yet. Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. See the horses. Right, come on, take those horses. Study them at the same time, I think. That should have come undone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's freed. Come on, Sean, let's go. Funny how one of those guards there sounded very like John Marston. I wonder if John was filled in for that guy when they were filming one day. Sorry, Jesus, Rob. We do. We do. You come. All at a party. That Ray Wade had got a money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are riding that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, why not? Sure. And we're caught up in a few gang missions now. We've caught up in a few of the... Um, which I'm call it? The challenge is, I still have to do the steel five horses and sell them at the horse fence one. I'm going to take this horse that we've just got here. That'll be the first one I take. Sweet home. Total stake 871. Gang 425. Our share 233. Almost at 6k. Right, in fact, we're going to take. Right, come on. We'll take. We'll get my horses to follow me. Both of them. Because one of them was stolen. Alright, we'll go and see Clay and. Oh gosh, I can't even remember what his brother's name was. Thankfully they're not too far from camp. I can see their wagon. There we go. Right, Clay will only accept horses that you are riding or leading. 484, that one is one horse stolen and sold. And I'm going to give him the, I think it's a Kentucky Saddler, the Palomino one. Because that was one that I stole off the 
the guy that got his arm chopped off. So we'll give this one to Clay as well. And that'll be two of five sold to him. Four bucks for that one. Right, so that's two out of five, so another three horses we need to find Here nearby to sell to them. Thank you, sirs. Right, let's, um, so there's usually a camp around here. I'm not seeing any smokestacks. Well, we'll try up here. So there's a horse right on the main road, so let's go and get that one. Gonna head this way a little bit. Cut round the back of the woods. Just to lose that guy. The horse has calmed itself down a bit. So I'm gonna just stop the horses in these trees here. And I'm gonna stroke this one. Whoa, it's getting spooked out by the the gunshots nearby. What kind of horse is it? A liver chestnut Morgan. This should be quite easy to calm down then if it's a Morgan. Right, let me see if I can... So it might still be spooked by those guns in the distance. No, let me loot that one. 286. Snake oil, fine, band, fine brandy. Oh, kicked me that time. Okay. Pick up my hat. Come on. There's a few people shooting over here. Let's go and see what they're up to while I calm this horse down. If it's over there, it's probably Lemoyne Raiders. Right, let me get back round and loot this saddle bag. It didn't kick me that time. Good, good. Oh, was I too quick there? Yeah, it's too quick. Potent okay. miracle tonic. Nice. Okay, let, let's take this little horse down to sell it. needs to eat. Okay. Brought me a little something there. I have indeed clay. I'll take four eighty for Ooh. it as well. Always got guts, Morgans. Deal. Yep, good little horses are Morgans. Careful Clive, that's Clive. No clay and Clive can never remember the brother's name. Right, so we need two more horses. Let's see if we can get a maybe a wagon going along the main road with a couple of horses attached. Oh, there we go. How many does it have? Two. Perfect. Right, so we'll get alongside it. Get him off, Arthur. Come on, push him off. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Right, the 
witness is dead, so let's hope nobody else comes along. And we can get these two horses sold to Clive. Clive. Let's cut in this way. Whoa, 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 where am I going here? This way. They guys are going to die, but I want to sell these horses quickly. Right, go on it. Go on it, Arthur. Four eighty for that one. Careful as you go, Clive. And then we'll cut loose the the white one. Oh oh get on the got on Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh the horse is still alive. Get on it before it runs away, Arthur. Arthur, get on the horse. Thank you. Right, another 480. That was almost a disaster. Right, so that's that completed. There you go, Bandit 6, 5 of 5 horses stolen and sold. So next we've got... Rob, $50 worth of that's cash so and valuables terrible. from townsfolk and travellers. What else have we got down here that's quite low? Right, we still need to get the berry species, so let's head up north. Fast travel to Ansberg. I know roughly where some winter green berries are, so I'm going to eat. I've ate a raspberry, so I'm g I know I've ate two berries, I just can't remember what they were. So I've ate a raspberry, and I'm going up to eat a winter green berry, and then we'll look for blackberries northwest of strawberry, and then evergreen huckleberries at the swamp. going to plug my phone into charge. Give me a second, guys. Alright, that's my phone charging. That's good. Right, so I'm going to head up towards Willard Rest. In fact, we'll follow the train tracks up so far because we might get some other berries up this way. Around for berry bushes as I travel. Yep. Some elk. Oh, what's what salt? Who are all these guys? Shit! What's gone down here? Oh, it's bounty hunters. Okay. Surely my bounty is not that high here that I've got all these guys after me.
there. That gets those guys off my trail for a little while. Let's loot some of them as well, I think. Since they're up in the railway tracks, they shouldn't be spotted so easily. So I shall loot all that I can. Let's get this one down by the main road. Get him and then we'll get back up into the trees before any witnesses come. Hopefully. Come on, run, 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 Arthur. If we're out of sight, we're out of mind. Oh shit, can I get up here? Jump, jump. Yes. Search saddlebag. Oh, I didn't realise I'd killed a horse. That's a bonus. 197 Open Miracle Tonic Kentucky Bourbon and we'll loot the guy right I think that oh no there's still one up ahead we'll, oh there's another horse saddlebag worth looting Go to this side of it. Ooh, a gold nugget. We'll take that all day. Come on, girl. Right, and there's still a body up here. What have you got for me, mister? And he had a dollar eighty four and a health cure. Nice, so that was about fifteen dollars in cash and a gold nugget and some other items from those bounty hunters. I was kind of hoping that was one of their horses, then I noticed it was a an elk. Okay, we'll keep heading north. And while we're up here we'll see if we can find a moose. Um, what else was I coming up for? Oh, winter green berries. Oh, let's have a look around here just to see if there's any berry bushes. There's a smokestack yeah. up here. It's quite an open part here. I don't see any berry bushes. Let's see what's at the campfire. Oh, right, here we go. raid these guys before their friends show up. Come on, look, look, look. Oh, we can loot the strangers, hang on. Oh, there's their friends showed up. your money as well, why not? I think if, if I can look this stranger over here as well. Okay. Right, so that was a nice little haul we got from them as well. Right, let's hit the... the Get back. I can hear a bear. Oh, 
I just heard the bear, I'm sure I did. Oh, there's some plants here, what have we got? Bee winter green berries. Yes, right, we'll eat one of these. Right, so that's two berries we've definitely had today. I'll take some oregano as well. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. Ah, that'll do. So that's Hello? two berries, so we need evergreen huckleberry and blackberry. Ah, there's the black bear. It's only a one star. Let's see if we'll get any moose over this side. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a bull elk. Yeah, usually the moose is in these trees here. Just here, but it's not today. It's okay. it's another bull elk. the island, the bear's over there so let me see if any moose in the trees here Easy. I think that's another elk that's a three star bull elk come on horse, get out the water, what are you doing? come on what are you doing? Where did that elk go? Oh, there it is. Oh, shoot. I've just realised that was an explosive round. What a flange. Right. I don't think that will be a three star anymore. No, a one star. I'll take the meat for camp, though. I'm such an idiot. I should have checked the ammo first. I'm not taking that pelt with me. Sorry, Charles. Okay, girl. So we've had a winter green berry, we've had a raspberry, so we're going to fast travel down Strawberry Way once we've got rid of the bounty hunters again. And then we will find a blackberry, hopefully, up round about where Pronghorn Ranch will eventually be. Fast travel, Strawberry. Mm. In fact, we might not even have to go up that high if we head towards the the border into Blackwater. We might be able to get away with getting a blackberry there somewhere. Then once that's out the way, we'll head back to the swamps for another green huckleberry. You're hearing banging by the way. I've got my bedroom window wide open and I'm hearing cars outside, so it could be them. Okay, we are at Strawberry. Quick look at the journal not checked it today yet so we'll see what we've done yeah we found the obelisk where we got the landmarks of treasure map uh, we had to go and find Trelawney he'd been kidnapped from his caravan 
and he's back at camp with us. We found some more animals. We found the tiny church, which was the first hiding place for the landmark of riches. That was the legendary elk. Then we studied the ox. That's the last thing we've got, okay? Right, I'm going to do these berries before I do anything else. I think I'm going to try this side of the river on the Blackwater border first for a blackberry. I'll just sort of head this way. Yeah. And once we get to open places like this, we'll activate the eagle eye. See if there's any blackberry bushes around. Nothing yet. Okay, we're heading towards um, the Riggs Fort where the... Oh, maybe we're not. Hang on. Let's look it over here. Yeah, I think we're heading towards Riggs Fort now. I'm going to check here for... Oh, we need blackberry bushes. I don't want to get too close to the boat. What's going on here? You told me you'd fix the wagon. You swore to. Oh no, I'm gonna let the horse live. I might be able to take that with me. Right, so we just saw these random dudes. That was four dollars and a gold watch from that one. Five dollars and a platinum band from what there was a billfold I seen there. Oh there's a couple of billfolds. Well it was worth killing these guys then. That was twenty two dollars and that one. And twenty two and that one. Definitely worth it. Right, anything else lying about? Just their horse, okay. We'll take the horse. Right, follow me. Right, I'm just moving down here a bit away from their their bodies. Seems quite calm again. The ears aren't quite sticking up the way I'd like them to. That's a bit better. Right, okay. Let's see if you're calm enough to rob. What? Nothing in that saddlebag. I'm not believing that. Thirteen dollars in that one. That's fine. That will do us nicely. Right, eagle eye. Start looking for blackberry bushes as we head towards the the border leading into Blackwater. Hey there. Go find someone else. Oh, somebody's in a bad mood. Right, we're getting very close to the Great Plains of Blackwater now, so we want to start keeping our eyes open for blackberry bushes around this area. 
because if we can help it, we don't want to have to cross the river. Let's have a look out here nearer the... So there's something up there. I don't know if it's blackberry bushes, though. That looks like wild carrots. Well, let's have a little forage here for these things. Hopefully we'll find... Uh, let's see, I don't want to have to cross the river in uh, the Blackwater region to find a blackberry, so if we find one here, I'll be very happy. We'll take the hummingbird sage. Is that an evergreen bush? Hang on. Oh no, it's just the sage we're getting here. We got here. On the, it was oh, oregano, right, okay. Come on, girl. Right, I don't really want to have to do this. I'll just have a little look along here again. See what these are over here. Let's well, see, I really don't want to have to cross the border if I don't have to. That looks like Indian tobacco, so I'll take that. Yep, it is. what else was around that was in front of this. Looks like creeping time, that'll be handy. We've not had any of that yet, so we'll pick that. That's good, we've got lots of big game meat to cook up. There's something else over here. American ginseng, we'll take that. It's a mushroom, a type of mushroom. What have we got? Oh, ram's heads. Okay. Might as well take a couple of them with us as well. Oh, come on. We need blackberry bushes. Don't want to have to cross. Looks like I'm going to have to risk it. Right, let's go this way. I'm still hopeful that we'll find some before we have to cross the river. Ah, we'll check over there before we... Yes, I know, I'm sorry. these over here. Oh, that's mint. I'll take the mint, that's for sure. Yarrow, that's the other one. Okay, we'll take a couple of those as well. Oh, 
Oh, I really don't want to have to cross this border. But I think I'm going to have to risk it. I'll just check down this area again. Let's see. We'll just keep checking along as we go. Because you never know. We might be lucky enough to find one before we actually have to go across that damn river. And the last thing you want to do yeah. is get caught up in a, the bounty hunters over there. Ah, look, that's a raspberry bush, I think. Yeah, raspberries. But mind you, we're close enough that we might get a... I think that's more yarrow. Come on. I think if I'm going to cross the river, I'm going to do it. See, that could be bounty hunters across the river there. Ah. Uh, Damn, it's more yarrow. Went this far away from the river, I'll take that. carrots. We'll take some of those. Let's say they come in handy if you're on low on horse supplies or you can sell a lot of stuff at the the drugstore in Valentine. The doctor there's good for buying herbs and things off you. Especially the lotions and potions stuff. Oh I'm hearing wolves. Shit I'm too far from my horse. I want a three star wolf for back at camp. Yep. Where are you? Oh, there they are. That one's a three star. One star. One star. So I have to get the one that went up the hill. Want to get a study at them as well. Oh shit, don't go far. Track. Track. Right, where's the three star? There it is. Right, hopefully it's still a three star. These two decide to attack me now that I've killed their, their friend. Still a three star. Excellent. We'll take that whole carcass with us back to camp. If we don't get killed trying to get into strawberry, eh, not strawberry, black water area. What we'll do is. So I don't really want to have to cross that river whatsoever. Let's have a nose there around about here for blackberry bushes. Never know where those bounty hunters are going to be across there. So if you don't have to go there, don't go. I could probably wait and do this challenge much later on, but I like to try and get them done. Or as much as I can done. Oh, oh, where are you going, horse? Up this way. Right, stop here, stop here. 
mint. We'll take more mint. Always. It looks like I might have to head up past Owen Jula to get the blackberries. Cause let's see, I really don't want to have to cross that river at all. the rock. The good news is I don't see anything offhand to tempt me across the river. Risk it because I really let's say I really want to find a blackberry. Oh, there's horses up in the hill there, so you've got to be very careful. As soon as the shooting starts, be ready to go. Stuck up this way. Shit, here they come, here they come. Go, 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 go. And in the trees, try and lose them. Come on. Damn snipers. Yeah, and I'm still in the wrong end of where I want to be. Oh, shit! I know. One Arthur. Right, come on Arthur, before any more bounty hunters come, any quick blackberries around. Shit. There's loads of them. I'm so gonna die. Come on Arthur, get up there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not even going to get a chance to get any further, am I? They're just going to take me right down. Wow, and I'm gone. To infinity and beyond. Serves me right. All this for a blackberry. I'm going to head north towards Strawberry. Well, up past Strawberry. See if I can get some up near the trapper up there. And I've lost that frickin' pelt as well, that wolf. Yeah, I've lost the wolf. Okay, but at least I'm on the right side of the tracks again. Yeah. I might be lucky to meet another pack of wolves heading up the way. See what this is. Is that a raspberry bush? Oh, common bulrush. Yeah, I'll take some of those as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Losing my voice, but we're working. It shifts where I had to do a bit of shouting and things. And then on here, do streams. I've never shut up for days apparently. Let's go. Alright, we'll just stick to the river. Up to the right side of the river. For now anyway. Oh dear lord, where are these blackberries? 
Can I get up the waterfall? Come on, can we jump up there? Come on, you can do it. You got this. Oh, so I did have it, and then I didn't have it. Can we get up here then? There. Come on, you got this. Try to be sneaky while I'm at the trees. Just to see if there's any blackberries nearby without bounty hunters spotting me. Beaver! Oh, bounty hunters! Let's go! Oh! Oh, sh... Shizen! Damn bounty hunters. This is what happens when you muck about at the border at Blackwater. I just lost a hundred and fifty dollars there. That's a raspberry bush. All this try to find a blackberry. That's Yarrow, that's no good. Bring my horse with me. Oh, what's this over here? That's oh, just a little tree. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where I might get some blackberries. Have a look at the map. That's not Fort Riggs. What's the name of that place? Lone Mule Stead. Hmm. I see my way down here now. I'm probably easier finding some up this way. We'll go that way first. Give me a chance to check out the trunk at the old wagon wreck as well. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, this is requiring me to cross over after all. Okay, let's go for it, Arthur. Do or die. Get some speed up and let's hope we don't come face to face with bounty hunters. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, just killed a little bird. Oh shit, there they are. Go Arthur, go, go, go. Go, go, go. You got this. I still need to get across the river though. Ah. I oh, know, it looks like I'm coming to a dead end. Oh, oh, there's somebody else there upset at us. Oh shit, where am I? It is a dead end. Whoa, I can't get up there, can I? That's even too high for you to jump, isn't it, horse? Oh shit, they're coming to get me. So now we don't want that. That's the one we want. This is my own fault. I should not be on this side of the the river.
Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. One, I have some down here. Make them come to you. Nice horses there, though. Right, Arthur, come on. Oh no, we can't make a break. They're still close. Right, here they come, Arthur. Do or die. Look, it's just a big long line of bounty hunters. No, oh, I'm gonna die. This guy in front's gonna just take me out unless I can get him first. Ah, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Never mind, I took out a few of them first. Yeah, Blackwater's not the place you want to be near at all, is it? Well, let's see where it spits me out this time, and that'll be another $150 down. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, 150 bucks down. And how's my honour doing? Oh, I'm still on the right side of good. That's not bad. More raspberry bushes. Um, so, all of this for the sake of a blackberry bush, honestly, what am I like? Looks like more mint, is it? Yes. Right, it spat me out right next to Owen Gila. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, better eat something, Arthur. Whoa, whoa. It's all right. Sideways. That's it. Sideways. Sideways. Hey. Right, so while we're here, we've already had the legendary fish, I believe. Yes. The beaver snakes. Oh yeah, but we're going to hunt for winter green berries starting over here, weren't we? Okay, so we'll stick to this side of the dam. Yep. Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you. I might be able to get some more beaver pelts while we're here. I can see some. A one star. Three star. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, there's the moose. There's the moose. There's the moose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Right, let's hope it's a three star. Phew, been hunting for a moose for about three days now. Oh, 
on, please be a three star. It looks like a nice bright colour, so I'm hoping it is. Good moose pelt. Okay, I'll take it. I think it's just the antlers I need anyway. But it's whether I want to bother carrying the pelt if I need to find a, a perfect wolf as well. <coughs> I'll take the pelt for now, just in case I don't find a wolf. Let's go, girl. I don't think that beaver died either. Let's go and have a look. One star. Now I got the rock carving that's along here as well. I don't have to worry about that. I'll fill up my dead eye though. A two star. the rock carving. I've already got that one. Oh, there's another beaver. Ha ha, sucker. Got you that time. Three star one. Skin. Skin. Thank you. These will all come in handy for the trapper. I'll give the horse a bite to eat now. Okay, Alright, now this is the, the end of Owen July. You're right, I want to follow the river find the old wagon to see if any gold nuggets have spawned in the the chest yet. There was the wagon. Let's check the chest. I don't think any that's got any more in it yet, but no, nothing yet. Okay, so that was, we got three in chapter two. We got three at the start of chapter three, so we'll try again in chapter four, see if we can get them out of there. Yeah. All right, let's start looking for blackberry bushes. Gunk. That's only a two star. Three star rabbit, but we'll leave that just now. over there. Oh, there's some, it's a hunter. That's fine. That oh, horse is getting restless. Maybe a, a cougar or a grizzly bear up here. There's a little fox there. Three star fox. Was a regular one in this, yeah. Just 
I'm just taking all of these as I go because the trapper's just up the hill in front of me there. Let's try to see if there's any grizzly bears in the trees up ahead. Oh, there is a grizzly up there. Do you see him? Right, let's see if he's a three star. Try the rare rolling block. Which way did he go? Where did he go? Oh, gosh, it's over that way. It's only a two star. Do you want to wrestle him to death, Arthur? I've got a Springfield. Let's put those away. Springfield knife, okay. Let's give you a big medicine. Let's go grizzly bear wrestling. War cry. Ah! Let's go! On Arthur, get your knife out. There we go. <laughs> I love a good bear wrestle. only a one star but we'll take the big game meat for the folks at camp yeah it looks like the looks like the trapper's still up there I don't think oh there's a red dot on the map let me check oh shit I've got a $380 bounty here that's because of all those bounty hunters isn't it all right okay let's drop that The trapper will be hiding for now because yep. of the bounty hunters, so I'm going to do the same. seen any movement. Hopefully they're heading the other way. The red line has got a bit fainter, mind you. Alright, it's getting a bit closer now. Ah, there they are down there. Feel like I'm pushing my luck sitting here looking at them. Yeah. Oh shit, they're coming this way. Dagnam it. Ah, don't get stuck in the water, Arthur. <laughs> I'm such a nugget. I oh, know they're going to get me. Right, come on, Arthur. Keep an eye on your horse's feet, for goodness sakes. I'm going to head to the the tree house I think and hide out in there. Oh no they're gone now they're gone we've got away from them yeah. 
Oops, just ran over that coyote. Alright, I'm just going to head up this way towards the tree house and maybe a wee bit further. You get a lot of predatory animals up that way and I'm looking for a three star wolf. So I'm just going to head over there just now. Sorry guys. Oh, sorry pronghorn. Right, this is where we should start seeing wolves and things as we follow the river up here. Our Springfield ready. Make sure it's regular ammo. Yeah, if we get a three-star wolf, we can ditch this yep. moose pelt, but we'll keep the antlers. <coughs> oh, a bear. A three-star black bear. Oh, and there's another one running off that way on the other side of the river. So, so we should meet some wolves if we've met a couple of bears. Might even meet a cougar. One star bighorn ram. A Sierra Nevada bighorn ram, two star. That's another one in the compendium anyway. Oh. That's a lot of two star elk. I think I'm going to check up the hill first, as far as I can get up it anyway. No wolves about that I can see offhand. Right, I'll cross the river and make my way down the other side. The old witch's cabin's there. I've already already killed her. Got the map. Oh, careful. Oh, just killed the rabbit. Right, right we should meet some wolves over here for sure. Listening for the howls and the the noises that they make. What's that there? A horse. Hello, horses. Ah, oh, it's the American stand the Black American Standard bread. No, it's not. It's a Black Kentucky Saddler, I think. Oh, it's an American Standard bread. The black one. leave it just now. I know where it's running anyway. Yeah. Come on wolves, where are you? I could always set up a trap, set up some predator bait. No in my luck I'd get coyotes or Foxes or something. Quail. Pheasants. Mm. Quite sure camp would enjoy some pheasant meat.
couple of nice pheasants for camp. So let's see if we can find a wolf. Last ditch effort before I head back to the camp. Let's see what's going on. I will head down this way towards the tree house. Oh, getting a bit close to the camp for the Odriscoll's. Okay. So the tree house is over here, isn't it? Where is it? Well, I didn't realise it was as far away from the, the cabin as this. Oh, there it is. Stolt Shack. So, oh. It was behind me. Okay. Yep. Oh. Take some salted meat, yes. Moonshine and predator bait. Some coffee, of course, we'll take that. Right, that'll do us just now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to set up camp. I fast travel back since I've not seen any wolves offhand here. Look down on the the meadows. I heard the bark, but it wasn't a wolf's bark. Oh, I'm hearing a bear right there. Hey, girl, be easy now. Right, if there's bears about, there won't be any wolves. So we'll go to the other side of the meadow and set up camp. As long as we're away from hanging dog ranch, we'll be fine. Oh, there's a wolf. Turn that off. Oh, and there's more bounty hunters. Lots of them. What's the chances? Come on now, guys. Play the game. One of those wolves better be a three-star, I tell you, after all of this carry-on. Oh shit, my horse is down, okay. Time to get serious, guys. Oh, dag now it. I couldn't get turned round in time. Oh, be another 100 and fast. I should really just go and pay my bounty and save all this hassle. So much for setting up camp and just calmly fast travelling. Another 150 bucks down. I think the game decides, oh, you're making too much money. Oh, look, my horse died. It's gave me... It's gave me a chestnut neg. Okay, boy. Okay, so that's two white Arabians I've lost this game so far. Still not giving up hope that I might get a wolf here. How much is my bounty now? 380 still. Yeah. Now, the wolves are gone. I've lost the pheasants. I'm going to have to find something else to take back to camp. How about a pronghorn? Let's 
spot one that's a three star. At the same time, not get too close to Hanging Dog Ranch. Oh, a big bull elk. Three star. Oh, how did I miss? On Arthur. Should go down. There we go. Oh, it died just as I got to it. Okay. I'm hoping I've still got the moose antlers and they're any good. The horse is fussing. What's going on? I can't believe that's two white Arabians I've killed in this round so far and I'm only in chapter 3. I'm going to have to go and see if I can get another one. <laughs> Imagine two wild Arabians in the same area, both white, and I've managed to kill both. I am a Muppet. Alright, oh, it's still too close to Hanging Dog yeah. Ranch, okay. I still need to find a blackberry though, come on. I need to go back this way a bit. It's raspberries as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's raspberries. I'm sure the blackberry bushes look like golden currants. Well, I'll just double check. Yeah, raspberry. Raspberry. All right, boy. Yeah. annoying. Like I've spent most of my time beating up the law and getting killed. This uh, this uh, stream here. All for the sake of black currants. It's ridiculous guys, it's ridiculous. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Indian tobacco. Sage there. Here. Get my horse to follow me and I'll just have a look around for black currants, that's carrots. What are these over here? More Indian tobacco. Okay. We shall take more. I'm going to take more sage as well because we've got these herb uh, challenges coming up soon. And we need Indian tobacco and sage. So, And there's bounty hunters out and about close by. Just want to check if these blue flowers are pickable. No. Okay. I'm going to go back towards where I fought the grizzly 
because I might be lucky enough. There's usually a blackberry bush spawns around there. Ideally, I need two because I have to pick one to register it before it'll let me eat one. We don't like snakes, yeah, do we, Ginger? Right. Stop. There, boy. Cougar, cougar incoming. Perfect pelt, and it is excellent. So, I'll take that pelt as well. And I've got to check if that was blackberries behind me or not. Winter green berries. I will take. I'll eat a couple of these just to make sure they're registered. So I've definitely had raspberries. I've definitely had winter green berries. So I just need a blackberry and evergreen huckleberries. to take these with me as well while I'm at it. I'm not going to take the carrots. I've got enough of them. Is it too much to ask to find that one solitary, well, two blackberry bushes nearby? That's American ginseng. I've got enough of that. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. Looks like we're not destined to find a blackberry right now. I can't think of any other place offhand without having to go across that river. Mint. We'll take more of that. All day, every day. <coughs> Anything that looks like a something tall enough to be a, a berry bush, that's burdock root. Boy. Come on. Let's go to where the sun's hitting or the hills over here. Another snake. The 
raspberry. Look at these more Indian tobacco and sage. Ah, oh, dear me. Hi, Ali. Welcome to the stream. I'm not believing it's this hard to find berries. Oh well, never mind. Let's head back to camp. We'll make a camp and then fast travel back to Clemens Point. I'm just going to have to try and remember where it was. I've seen the blackberry bushes without having it go into um, Blackwater territory. Excuse me, just grabbing a quick drink. <coughs> Do I like Lana Del Rey? Not really sure. I've seen Lana play live. Um, I work in security and I do a lot of gigs in and around Scotland. So I have seen Lana. It's so, alright. I wouldn't say she's one of my favourites, but alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, that's over three hours. I've been streaming again. That was two hours this afternoon, three hours this evening. It was 20 to midnight as well. Typical. Uh, let's give a whole load of stuff to Pearson just to clear out our bags a bit. I can't believe I've killed two white Arabians. Still can't get over that, I'm gutted. I'll have to go back up to Lake Isabel to see if I can find a third one. <laughs> Chance my arm. Poor Arthur's killing all his horses. Uh, you can have the cougar, the elk, elk antlers, moose antlers. I'm going to give you... 18 big game to feed the camp. Bear claw, couple of cougar teeth, some stringy meat, 13 mature venison. Gonna keep the chipmunk. Blue jay. Yeah, that'll do you, Pearson. Oh. That second cougar pelt might have helped. There we go. So we still need two ox hides and a wolf. Because they will fantle those moose antlers worked, so a wolf and two ox is all we need now. A few changes never hurt. Let's grab some stew, Arthur. And I think I'll maybe spend four or five minutes just playing poker in the camp. And then I'll head off, I think. Just have a relaxing last few minutes. on Arthur, let's see who wants to play poker at this time of the night. What time is it? Ten to two in the morning. Okay. Poker, anyone? Yeah, all right. John's up. Good. Well, Lenny and Uncle. I feel my father's eyes on the back of my head for playing this. <laughs> my mama taught me how to play this. I'm a spent youth. Taught me how to play it. Doing a king off suit. So we've got a king high. We made the 
Okay, they're small and big blind. I'll call that. Uncle's folded. John's raised. No, Lenny raised. Okay, I'll call the six cents. I can smell it a mile off. Sure. Now we've got a king in the river. So that's a pair of kings we've got. Somebody could be sitting with a pair of aces, but I'm going to. Risk a 20 cent bet to see if any of them stay in or fold. Anybody here to play? Always. Ah, John folded. Yourself, huh? Lenny's playing though. A 10, still no good to us. He could be sitting with two spades or a pair of aces. Let's go all in and see if we can make him spook out. I've got a feeling he'll beat me, but we never know. Very brave. Moment of truth. Oh, he's got a pair of kings with a four. And I've got a pair of kings with a two dagnamit. Well, we both won a dollar four. That's nice. That'll do. <coughs> <laughs> Wait, Marston can't swim. I have no intention of losing anyway. Nobody can Poor say John Arthur, leave him alone. Right, what rubbish hey. have we got? Eight and a two off suit. Call. John's calling, Uncle's calling, Lenny's called, I'll call. Or I'll sure. check, sorry. I've got a whole load of rubbish. I'm going to fold. And leave the game. I'll leave them to it. Thanks, guys. Oh, they've all split as well. Right, who's at the five-finger fillet table? Who wants to risk a finger? Okay, Arthur. Sounds good. Oh, hi there. Nice, a little treat. I've never played Javier at this before. It's I always like it. Lenny or Micah. X's and squares. Okay, Javier, mind your fingers now. You need those to play the guitar. Oh, he got three full ones in before he had to stop. Right, so let's do this, Arthur. We've got this. We've got to try the little flourish as well. The faster you go, the more it'll hurt when you fail. I better catch up with the rounds before I try another flourish. Oh shit! Sorry, Arthur. Come on. I managed to get the other one in. Oh no! I never. Dag damn it! It was a draw. That will teach me to try and show off too soon. Okay, what are we going for? X's and circles. Right, five. Okay. Yeah, I skipped by that there just to save some time. Right, so I want to do five full rounds before I try a flourish. Right, I've done five. Oh, sorry, Arthur. Time up, and it was another draw, so I have to beat him this round. I'm just going to kick his ass and get away here. X's and triangles. Okay, we'll skip past it. Right, let's go, Arthur. No stopsies. No flourishes. Nothing fancy. Just get these rounds in. Only, I only had three that time. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. I beat him anyway. It's all good. Thanks, Javier. 
Oh, wait a minute. Javier must win the round to stay in the game. What's going on? X's and squares. Okay. Your turn. Back to X's and squares. Done five. Yes, we've got a flourish in. Hey. Oh, sorry, oh, Arthur. Yeah, we beat you. Yeah, no, I've won your yeah, 20 cents. I'm off. Okay, then. Right, bedtime, Arthur, and that's where we're going to end the stream. We'll get a quick shave first. In fact, down to the river for a quick swim and a clean up. That's John staring at the water. Arston. Hey, Arthur. What are you up to? Thinking of heading out a bit. Okay. We'll catch up with you later then. All right then. On Arthur, swim. Get all this blood and goo off you. See the blood trail he's leaving in the water. Uh, it's going clearer now. <coughs> he's still not 100% clean. There's still blood coming off of him yet. There, that's it. It's just went that cloudy way. There we go, that'll do. What have we got here? Ooh, poison arrows. We're needing them. We don't need the high right here pomade. We've got loads of that to sell as well. Right, sleep Arthur. Till noon. Right guys, I'm going to leave the stream there. Thanks very much everybody that's popped in and out or left a comment or a like or a subscription. It's much appreciated. I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.